When negotiating gemstones, there may not be many or very complicated specifications to dispute. However, some are subtle, and one must know them intimately. A small mistake can mean a lot of money. Here, we would like to help the gem buyer understand some of the less talked about grading, hence evaluating and negotiating points. The openness of a gemstone. Notice the two gemstones here. They are essentially the same size and tone and shape. At first glance, one might think they are of a similar value. Now let us move them slowly away from the line of sight. What do we see? As the stones move away from the 90 degree vertical, we see one of the stones darkening, or as we say, closing at a faster rate than the other until it is black and opaque and without beauty. What does this mean to the end user? To the supply chain? To the prices? The open stone of the end user will give off light and beauty from their jewel, from every part of the room, and from every angle. The retail customer may not realize why but they perceive which is more beautiful and invariably pick the open stone. The demand for open stones is greater and therefore the prices are higher. The price difference is usually considerable. The preceding example was due to open versus closed sea access in a species. Here we have another example which is due to proper versus improper facet angles. We see a similar effect. The cause is not relevant here though. What is important is how open or closed a gem is. When negotiating, details like this can be of considerable importance. The price difference is great between open and closed stones in most species. Should you be entering in negotiations to buy or sell a colored stone and you wish to consult, you may contact me, David Stanley Epstein, at gembuying.com or on LinkedIn or Facebook.